Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share some interesting facts about a pony breed. Yes, that's pony of the Americas. Let's get started. It's a breed developed in the Midwestern United States during the mid 1950s. Its ancestries are the outcome of a distinctive cross of an Arabian or Appalachian mare with a Shetland stallion. Pony of the Americas is a small equine breed with specific physical and coloring features. They should be between 11.5 and 14 hands tall and have Appalachian coloring visible from 40 feet. If you are watching for that special animal, a pony of the Americas may be the correct breed for you. Their flexibility and ability are two of the many features that make them an outstanding select for any level rider. Let's talk about Foundation Sire. The Foundation Sire for Pony of the Americas was a result of a cross between an Arabian or Appalachia mare and a Shetland pony. The foal was named Black Hand because of the diverse black marking shaped like a hand on his flank. The owner of Black Hand liked his small horse so much, he decided to form a new breed. When he formalized the breed standards, the emphasis was on height and color over the animal's bloodline. Pony of the Americas can't be taller than 56 inches. So if I talk about height requirements, so in the opening 1954, Pony of America's breed registry equines had to reach a minimum height of 44 inches and could not be over 52 inches to be eligible for the registration. Again in 1963, the Pony of the Americas adjusted the height guidelines by 2 inches, so it went from 44 inches to 46 inches and the maximum could be 54 inches. The Pony of the Maricas club members agreed to raise the maximum again in 1985 to 56 inches. So the modern height standard for the Pony of the Maricas breed is a minimum height of 46 inches and no taller than 56 inches. Color Requirements Pony of the Maricas color pattern is visible from 40 feet. The foal that became the foundation sire for the Pony of America's breed, Black Hand, was born white with black interspersed over his body. The black portion is defined as similar to paint smears with the image of a black hand on his flank. The colouring of Black Hand gave him a distinctive look which was vital to include in the new breed standards. Color is a vital characteristic of all registered Pony of Americas and the color pattern should be noticeable from 40 feet. Pony of America coat patterns differ broadly. However, the most common coat color is a blanket pattern, which is white over the low end and hips with dark, round G-shaped spots. The spots differ in size from specks to areas larger than 4 inches in diameter. Other horses show white over their rear with no dark spots. Now this color pattern is referred to as snow capped. Some Pony of America horses are spotted over their whole body which is called a leopard pattern. Blanket and leopard patterns might have spots that are darker in the middle with a lighter ring around the area. This phenomenon is uncommon and called as halo. Ponies with white hair interspersed with the base coat color are considered roan. Paint or pinto coat pattern are expressly banned in the Pony of America registry. Furthermore, let's talk about the traits. Pony of the Americas have Appalachia traits. They have mottled skin. Mottled skin is a speckling of the animal's skin with both dark and light pigment and usually can be found on the skin around a horse's muzzle, eyes and genitals. Marginal, grey or roan ponies must have mottled skin in at least two places, which may be muzzle, eyes or genital area and white sclera encircling one or both eyes to be eligible for registration. 
Second is white sclera. White sclera on a pony of America is easily visible. It's a white part encircling the colored iris of your eye is called as sclera. Horses also have sclera, but most horse breeds have a dark sclera that surrounds their iris. But a pony of America, like an Appaloosia's, has a white sclera just like humans. Third is striped hooves. A horse's hoof is made of keratin, the similar material that involves our fingernails and toenails. Pony of Americas have striped hooves, which is bolt up and down, stripping of light and dark on the hoof. A horse can be registered as a pony of America with no hoof stripping, but must exhibit the other features of mottled skin, color coat pattern, and white sclera. The foundation sire, Black Hand, had 50% Shetland pony in his pedigree. Still, there is little resemblance to a Shetland pony in the modern day pony of the America horses. Most pony of America have the body conformation you would assume from a quarter horse and Arabian cross. Their small head is dished like an Arabian and their body strong and muscled like a quarter horse. Pony of Americas have the expressive eyes and the delicate ears of an Arabian and the broad chest, powerful hindquarters and sloping shoulders of a quarter horse. The mixture of the different breeds has formed a short version of a western sport horse. Pony of America are outstanding horses for youth riders and have the athletic skill to participate in various equine disciplines. Generally, the temperament of a horse breed is the behavior or personality you can expect in the animals. Ponies of the Americas were bred to be ridden by children. These little horses have affection towards people and are full of tolerance and gentleness. They are willing workers and have a cool manner. You don't have to concern about Pony of Americas spooking on trail riding or when riding around other animals. Pony of America breeders have placed a premium on developing a harmless, reliable and laid-back mount. These horses are surprisingly clever and easily skilled in various equine disciplines. There would be some people who must be interested in history of the breed. I mean, can you imagine a little Shetland pony stud breeding a big Appaloosia mare? Well, that is what happened to create the pony of the Americas breed. In Mason City, Lowa, there was a Shetland pony breeder that also occurred to be a lawyer named Les Boomer Harbour. His neighbor offered to sell him an Arabian or Appaloosia mare that was carrying a foal side by a Shetland stallion. Les delayed until the foal was born, then bought the mare and foal. The colt had a white coat with black markings and a spot on its flank that looked like a black hand. Les put his legal knowledge to use and made the Pony of America club with black hand as its foundation. Les and the people working with him on this project set severe rules for registering animals as a Pony of America. The objective was to grow a small athletic horse breed with a temperament that children can ride and show, so the animals had to be tender and trainable. Pony of America clubs, snowballed, state and regional organizations formed, and Pony of America's competition sprung up across the country. The registry started with one half-bred Shetland pony. 1954 had more than 12,500 members in its first 15 years and now has well over 50,000 registered horses. Like to horse registration, the competition have severe rules as well. Originally, only children 16 years old or younger could show a Pony of America. However, in 1973, the age limit was raised to 18 years old and in 1987, a 19 and older riding class was added. Over the years, the horses have developed and the organization has grown. The first National Pony of the Americas convention was held in 1988. 
Today, the Pony of Americas Club is one of the most active youth-oriented horse breed registries in the United States. Pony of the Americas horses are bred for flexibility and are used for western, English, drivings, and many other equine activities. This diminutive equine breed is a flawless companion for young riders and they are calm, lenient, and clever.